Hey guys, Jeannie here. Just wanted to go ahead and welcome you back to my channel. Wanted to go ahead and um, actually do this video. Um, I don't know if you saw yesterday's video, but I took you with me while I walked. I'm getting back on this weight loss journey. And hopefully you guys stuck by me throughout that whole video. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. I was actually filming. I got a phone call and the video messed up, guys. Anyway... Um, yesterday I did four laps on video with you guys and then I actually did two after my kids got out of school and my husband got out of work we came and I actually did two more laps my husband watched the kids he actually did only half a lap due to his foot and stuff so I was able to do two more and so um, yeah he helped me out actually stretch out too um because i felt a little tense in the back of my legs and stuff so he helped me stretch out at the park and stuff so that was really good i feel really great today um last night's sleep wasn't the best um but i feel really really pumped right now and it's actually 12 o'clock guys i woke up late i had to take my kids to school well actually my daughter to school um she goes like at 11 30 and stuff so i was kind of rushing she got there maybe like 10 minutes late it's because I wake up so many times at night, guys, and I don't know, like, I, I, I stress out about a lot of little things. I check my kids, like, two times at night, and then I just, and then when I wake up, um, it's kind of hard for me to go back to sleep and stuff, so I end up getting, like, little bits and pieces of, you know, sleep, and that, that's, that's the problem I have. I need to find something or take a supplement or something that will help me, you know, sleep better at night. Um... But yeah, I feel really good right now. We're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and take you along with me. And hopefully our conversation is not too boring. Um, hopefully we have things to talk about. Um, I think that's it. I wasn't able to weigh myself this morning, guys. Um, let me get out of the car. This man has passed me already like three or four times. He's already like walked, I think, like three or four laps. And he's seen me and I'm still in the truck. Had to put my sunscreen... Probably like finally this girl got off the truck <laughs> I had to put on my sunscreen um, had to fix myself up a little bit put a braid on fix my hair into a braid I don't want to have my hair all crazy and um, So anyways, guys, I actually ended up waking up super late, and um, I had to take my kid in to the school. I had to walk her to school. Dang, my legs are killing me. They're super sore from the bottom, from like the front part, like this front part right here. Oh, it hurts. Usually it's the back of my legs, and this time it's the front of my legs that hurt. So pretty today but it's not even cold or anything it's like it's just perfect it's like my husband said it was gonna be like 80 degree weather today but it doesn't feel like 80s it feels really really good really nice I like it so pretty and peaceful I was watching the video that I made yesterday and the angle of the camera is like down here and so it makes you look like you have a double chin <laughs> not very attractive I have some pounds to lose and then I have to see myself on camera like that so today I'm gonna hold you up hold you guys up high and hopefully it doesn't do that looking at me like what is this lady doing there's not a lot of people with me though there's just like one man that's walking and he's a old man there's a, another red truck with a I think it's a lady and some kids or something but yeah oh and then yesterday in the video that I was I saw myself I was actually Keys are really annoying in the video. 
and I'm used to like having really like edited or perfect, more perfect videos, even though, even though sometimes I mess up and I'm saying something or whatever, or I don't stare directly into the camera. I've heard some of my family members say, stare into the camera. But sometimes when I'm thinking, I notice that my, I start looking around because I'm thinking. Or because I'm looking to see if anybody's watching me. <laughs> so, yeah. I didn't get to weigh myself this morning. Because I was in a hurry. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I gotta give myself a couple of days. Before I weigh myself. Honestly, guys, I don't get a lot of... Hold on, let me fix my shirt over here. Okay. Um, I don't get a lot of exercise throughout the day. I'm always home and looking for deals, for making the deals, or trying to rent apartments, or just doing stuff on the computer all the time, and or cooking, or doing household things and I don't get a lot of exercise so I think coming to the park and walking in the morning and then in the afternoon should make a difference Anyway, so, since I was running late this morning, I had like, it was already like 10.53, and my daughter has to go in at 11.30, but they normally close the doors like at 11.29, 28 or something. And so, um, my husband was hungry, because he was already working, and so he has a break like for 15 minutes or something, and so he gets up real quick. He only has like a 15 minute break. So he hurries up and he goes and he tries to make himself some food and he turns up the the stove like super high and I'm like, what is wrong with you? Anyway, so he's making his breakfast and I'm making my smoothie and I'm trying to get my daughter dressed at the same time. And so the first time I made the smoothie, I added way too much ice. And I added peaches, um, it was like one or two chunks of pineapple, like two strawberries, and the rest was blueberries. I put almond milk, water, some ice, and I blended that up. Well, I think I put way too much ice in it, and so it was like filled up all the way to the top, and it was super icy, like really, really icy, like I mean like an icy, it was super icy. And so, um, I didn't want to add too more, I mean, too much, too much more water or anything because I didn't want it to overflow or anything. It was just a mess this morning. But, um, I took some out, gave some to my daughter, and then I blended it a little bit more and then I added a banana. And that smoothed things out a little bit more. And then I just added the protein powder. And I used the J-Rob protein powder. And then it tasted really, really good. I gave a glass to my husband. Gave a glass to my daughter. She really didn't like the first one I gave her. Because I didn't have the banana. And didn't have the J-Rob protein powder. So she really liked the second one. So yeah. 
I drank my protein powder this morning. My protein powder. I drank my protein shake this morning. My husband had his eggs. When he had his breakfast, he had eggs, ham, and I don't know what else. And then I gave him his protein shake. Which normally, you should, you know, normally you should have one or the other, but... He, he likes bigger meals. I'm not like that. I like this. The problem with me, guys, is that the reason why I gain weight, one, is because I'm insulin resistant. Two, is because I know I have adrenal fatigue. I'm always stressing out about everything. And three, is because I love sweets. I love bread. And that is like the hardest thing for me is to get rid of bread. Bread is like my weakness. And so are sweets. Like I love desserts. I love ice cream. I love um, I love pizza. I like any kind of bread. Muffins. I just I have a problem with bread. That's the problem. And I had given up, given it up quite a bit. Um when I was doing my weight loss journey, I would try to substitute it with something else like brown rice or with another carb. But you slowly come back to your habits. You see other people doing it or people kind of, you know, tell you, why don't you eat this or why don't you eat that? And I know for me, I started gaining, I started gaining weight slowly. But if you really think about it, if you look at my older videos, I think when I started the weight loss journey was maybe like four or five years ago. So if you really think about it, if I gained, what, 44 pounds, that means I gained about 10 pounds, like 10 pounds each year or something. So that's not bad. Usually people gain a lot more than that, but um, like I said, I, I don't think I've worked out much in the past year. Me and my husband were thinking about it and we we're like, oh, we really didn't get much exercise. Ever since my dad went into the hospital when he had a stroke, drinking lots of coke and coke is super bad especially if you have adrenal fatigue if you've been stressed out and stuff it's super super bad you can't be having any caffeine so if you suffer from adrenal fatigue you can't be having things that have caffeine like well for one coke or coffee things like that you need to substitute them for something else like maybe a green tea or you know something that's gonna but sometimes you need just something quick. So you look for candy to get a little picker-upper or you get a Coke and it picks you up. Yeah, it'll give you some energy for a little bit. But then you're going to drop down real bad. That's what was going on. I was drinking way, 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 way too much Coke. So it started up in March. And then when my husband um, got sick and ended up in the hospital... Um, we said no more coke. I'm not gonna lie, we've been, we hadn't touched it, but maybe like one or two days ago, we did take a couple of sips and we stopped. Sometimes you gotta try to wean yourself off slowly, but when you get scared, get the amputation of his toe and stuff, you kind of just stop, but then you go to family parties and things like that. People bust out <laughs> cokes left and right. You kind of just go with the flow and take a little sip, but we stopped already. We won't drink coke the way we were before, especially with couponing and doing deals. 
it's so easy to get Coke really, really cheap, guys. I mean, the Coca Cola, guys. There's somebody sitting in their car right now. Silence mode for a little bit. Let me just pass them. <coughs> sweater was falling. I have it tied around my waist. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my hot pink shirt. It says pizza, boys, makeup, and selfies. I like this shirt. <laughs> I got it at Bell's. It was actually on clearance when I got it. And my husband, when he saw it, he's like, boys? And I'm like, yeah, you and my son are my boys good way to get out of that one, huh? <laughs> I'm not promoting good health, though. I put pizza in there. Or they put pizza in there. See, I'm just wearing this pink shirt. This pink shirt right here. And I'm wearing some gray like um, jeggings, I guess. No, not jeggings. I don't know, some workout pants, capri style actually, and my Nike tennis shoes. They're gray. Ooh -hoo. Like a aqua color, I think. So pretty. Quiet. Look, look at this side. Pretty house right there. See, there's nobody at the park. Anyway, so okay, I think I lost count. Okay, well, we're gonna go on our third one. This is our third lap. How many minutes has that been? 17 minutes. This is going to be our third one right here. We're going to start our third one. 17 minutes? Not bad. I think yesterday I was slower. Wow, I'm pretty pumped today, yes. We're going faster today. Oh, this man is still walking. Wow, I don't know how many laps he's going to do. I only do four. He's older than me. He's doing more than me. <sighs> they go so much faster when I make videos. I think I'm going to start doing this more often. Because... <laughs> You lose track of time, you're not thinking, well, I'm here walking. <laughs> it's kind of boring just to be walking. But if you're actually talking, it goes by faster. <sighs> I hope hope I stick to it. I hope that this time I can get down. Maybe I can get down a little bit further this time. Maybe I don't have to get down to 183. Maybe I can get down to, let's see, the lowest I've weighed in my adult life was, let's see, at 176. That's when I met my husband. Like, Thirteen. 
was after I had already had her delivered over. But in my pregnancy with her, I think I got up to like the 250s, guys. <laughs> Sounds really bad, I know. I've never been 250 in my life. But I had her in my stomach, so. So when I had her, with her I did really bad though. With her I would eat pizza and drink coke and would send my husband to buy like, oh my guys, I have to pick up my sweater. I uh, would send my husband to go buy bags of M&M's, the ones with the peanuts. I would, I would eat really, really bad with my daughter. And with my son I actually ate, I couldn't stand, with both of them I couldn't stand any like cooking in the house, I couldn't stand the smell. With my son I actually ate nothing but fruits and vegetables. So I couldn't stand anything else. And now he doesn't like any fruits and vegetables. He won't eat any fruits and vegetables. Well, he'll eat like maybe like a banana. But he hates vegetables. He won't eat them. I have to force him to eat them. And with my daughter Rihanna, she was the opposite. She actually had a bunch of junk food. And now she's the one that drinks smoothies and she's the one that eats salads and she's really, really healthy eater. But then I started my weight loss my weight loss journey with her, so kind of implemented it into her diet, so she kind of just stuck to it. But she'll be like, Mom, I want a salad there. She'll be the one to ask. Oh, my son, he's like, no, 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 don't put, don't put salad in my sandwich. Don't put any lettuce in my sandwich. It's like I have to force him to eat some. And with the kids, dude, it's, it's like really hard because I tried putting like, like spirulina. And I tried putting like veggies and like a chocolate smoothie and stuff to kind of like hide the vegetable. Not the, not the vegetable the greens. Nope, couldn't fool him. First he was like, oh, it's chocolate. And then, I don't know, the light hit it in a certain way and he saw the green in it. He said, uh-uh, I don't want it. That's Rihanna's. <laughs> Can't trick that boy. We got one more lap to do. Just one more. So anyway, I was saying that um, with my daughter, I got up to 250, then I got down to 230. And then I decided to get on the weight loss journey, or go on my weight loss journey. And I got down to 183. And that's pretty much it. I didn't go down any further than that. I had I hit like my little plateau and I was pretty upset about it because I couldn't get down no more than that. But if you look at my videos, I looked a lot thinner. These pants that I bought, the ones I'm wearing right now, um, I used to wear them when I was thinner, so today I kind of I had trouble squeezing into them, even though they're stretchy. So, yeah. This shirt I recently bought it, so this is like an XL. I need to get back into my large, I actually almost got into mediums. I actually think I had some medium shirts. So, I'll probably make some videos or something of like some of the clothes that I used to wear and stuff so you guys can see my progress and stuff so <clears throat> I
I just have some um, I have some clothes that I still have there that I just haven't been able to wear because I gained weight so I just decided to buy some more but and a lot of people told me don't buy any more wait till you reach your goal which I thought you know I should stop complaining about weighing 183 I should be content and so you kind of just start slacking you start getting comfortable you think you don't have to do anymore because you feel like you already met your goal but honestly you should never stop you should continue because then your body gets out of habit and then it's hard to get back in there because your body hurts more but if you constantly move and do it every day then it won't be such a struggle because your body's already used to it <sighs> okay guys this is my fourth one we're gonna finish this fourth one See how many minutes is that? 27 minutes. 27 minutes. Yesterday I checked my video and it was like 40 some minutes. So, but it wasn't all walking. I did do some talking before the video and some after the video. So, maybe it was about 30 to 35 minutes. Oh my gosh, this hoodie is going to drive me insane. Hold on, guys. Let me tie this up better. He stops like really, really close. Like he's gonna say something to me. Just keep walking, keep walking. I don't know you, sir. That was weird. It's a white truck. It looked like it looked like it wasn't one of those AT and T trucks, but no. down to maybe 170 this time, 160 this time, I don't know. If you look at my past pictures, I think even when I was at 183, my face just looked really sucked in. Some pictures look nice and some pictures just look like, eh, that's too skinny. And right now, like I have a lot of cachete, like I have you know like I'm gaining weight. I've always had a round face, but you know I'm gaining weight when you see my cheeks blowing up. And so, it's the first thing you'll see. I'll notice that I'm gaining weight. It's because my face gets rounder. And if you see it in my past videos, you'll see, or my pictures, you'll see that when I get thinner, my dimples come out. And right now, like, you can barely see my dimples. You'll see a little line, but you won't see my dimples. I don't know if I should do another one today. I feel pretty good. I don't feel that tired. I noticed that in my video yesterday, I was kind of like, 
I was like, really? <laughs> it seemed like I needed more air, like I was so exhausted. But that was funny. Okay, that was a couple in there, and they were lying down in the truck. <laughs> um, awkward. <clears throat> they look kind of young. <laughs> they look like they're 18. They look young. Okay, one of the one of the persons is leaving already. <laughs> the couple is still there though. Anyway, <laughs> moving along. Thanks for hanging with me. I don't feel so alone right now. Even though I am alone right now. <sighs> I feel safer this way. You know, I feel like I've become such a chicken now that I have kids. Like, I don't like going anywhere by myself that much anymore. Like, I, 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 I go out by myself. Like, I'm not, like, <laughs> being a weirdo or anything. But I just, I don't know. Like, I always like to have my husband with me now. I've become very attached to him. And so, when I'm not with him, it kind of feels like a little bit... Dude, before I used to go running and walking at, like, the Sherryland parks. Like, I was at all the parks, okay, before. And when I would go work out, I'd work out by myself and stuff. And, dude, I'd, I'd get out of work at 5 and wouldn't get home till like, about 10 sometimes at night or 9 o'clock at night. Because I was running at the park and it was like dark and there's guys and there's females and everybody's like running and stuff. Everybody's in their own business and I don't know. Before I didn't like care so much and now it's kind of like <laughs> I'm always checking around. I'm always looking at my surroundings like don't want any crepers. So yeah, I feel a little safer when I'm with my with my husband and my kids. But I like being by myself. I told my husband yesterday when I got back from walking, I told him, you know, it felt really good. I know it's gonna sound really bad, but it felt really good being by myself. He's like, yeah, sometimes you need it. He's like, sometimes I feel that way too. And then I kind of felt bad and I was like, oh. Maybe he needs some time for himself too, which I think he gets, because normally, I mean, he goes by himself to the store, he goes by himself, like me, I have to take the kids with me all the time, but him, he's like, he usually goes, like, places by himself. I mean, maybe it's not what he wants to do or anything, like, go, go to the grocery or go and get water, or, but he gets a little bit of, I think he gets more alone time than I do. So... I don't think I'm going to give this up any anytime soon because I like my alone time. And he 
he works at home now, so that's why I say I get my alone time. You guys might think, well, you have those three hours, you know, when your daughter goes to school, but no, my husband works at home, and so, yeah. This is my alone, alone time. Just me, myself, and I. Trying to keep it a little bit more steady today, even though I've already put you guys down and told you to wait for me. And because yesterday was really, really shaky. But I mean, I'm walking, so I don't know how straight I can keep it. Okay, I think this is my fifth lap. Okay, I was supposed to stop already. I guess we're doing five today. And then I'll do maybe like two when I come with my kids. That'll be seven. I don't want to overdo it, guys, because I do feel kind of sore from the front of my legs. Maybe I'll just cut it halfway. So it'll be four and a half. This man has done like, I, sw I think he's done about maybe eight or nine already. Dang. And I'm quitting at four and a half. finish quickly because I still got to go and make lunch and feed the hubby. Feed myself and the hubby. Yesterday we had a salad for lunch and then well I had a protein shake as soon as I got back from walking and then I made a salad. We made a, I made a steak. I, I cook steak like really thin steaks and then Put it on a salad. So we had for lunch. But I did have a protein shake when I got back, so. And then fed the kids when they got back from home. And then after we ate, I mean after we, we walked yesterday, we went to Jason's Deli for a little while. We had salad and we had one sandwich, but we split it in half, and so half a half a sandwich and the rest was salad. We did order a chicken soup, which he ended up having most of it because I don't like chicken soup. At least not that kind. The chicken noodle soup. Ugh. I don't like that. I would have preferred the broccoli cheese, but that's way too many calories. Even though it has broccoli in it, cheese is way too much. So, yep. I don't know what we're going to have today. Maybe have a salad again right now. A protein shake because I still have some right now at home. And I'll have a salad. And then we'll see what we have for dinner. Maybe some chicken. Or maybe we'll just have some chicken with some salad. My husband did. I told him to bake some chicken last night. When we got back from Jason's Deli. So maybe we'll have the baked chicken with some salad. But for sure I'm going to have my protein shake right now because I'm... I'm really hungry. And for dinner, we'll see. So yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm done. I did four and a half. I only did this half. I didn't do that half. I don't want to overdo it. Because I'm still going to come back later on and do two more laps. And then... Have my husband help me stretch. It's a nice park though, huh? Oh, okay, I'm gonna just <sighs> calm down a little bit. <sighs> Take in some air. So look, this is the workout section. They have the stepper over there. They have these. They have some benches right there. They have some other machines over there. I don't know if you can see them, but that's a pretty cool park. <sighs> yep. Okay, let's get in the truck. Because more people are coming. It's time to go. I broke a sweat though. I 
feel sweaty on my back. I feel under my arms. I feel sweaty around my neck. So we did good. We did good. We did good. Out in here. <sighs> Gotta turn up some of the AC. It's hot in here. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for hanging with me. I really appreciate it. If you made it through this video, please comment down below. Show me some support. And I will talk to you guys soon. Tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's it guys. I'll update you with whatever I ate for lunch and what I had for dinner and I'll update you with some stuff tomorrow. And I think that's it guys. I think I need to start taking some vitamins or something because I need to feel more energetic or take my vitamin B12s or something. I need some, I need something to pick me up. I mean, I get a little high, but then, um, from working out, but then just, I go down, so I need to take supplements or something. Like my one-a-days, or some vitamin B12s, or something. I need to get healthy and strong. Probably gonna do some weights when I get home. Um, some arm, like, some workouts. I think that's it. And then I'll just chill for the rest of the day until it's time to come and walk again. And probably weigh myself tomorrow morning and I'll update you with the next video. So yeah. Thanks so much for hanging with me guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.